Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to the next episode in my Crusader Kings 2 successing, Succession game, where we're playing of the, by the way, I didn't mention it, we're playing of the House of YouTube, and uh, we are still quite young. We're nine, it's been four years since we took control. We did put down one major rebellion from our vassals, and a huge religious one, which actually proved to be far more painful, to be honest. Um... And I've just remembered that we still have a problem with revolt risk over here. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy my marshal over there, which will lower the revolt risk. It should revolt or lower it by 10%. It just hasn't uh, kind of triggered yet. Um, now, if I go there and try to convert them, it will pop up the risk considerably. But I think it has to be done. Oh, he's busy sucking up to himself. No, we'll, we'll let him finish doing that for a tick. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and declare war on uh, King Malcolm V of Scotland. We're going to... Um, we could claim all of Scotland, which is interesting. I think the best way to do it is just to do the du jour claim on Clydesdale, uh, rather than have people grow. She's already a countess. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it this way. And that will be fine. Then we will uh, raise everyone. And join up over here. Yeah, you too. Okay, that's fine. And then over here, we will cross into Galloway. And we're going to have to respond pretty quickly to some of his actions. Ethel. Okay, he's going to be slow, but then you go around this way. I sneak through the dungeons, hearing the prisoners pleading for their life and the coarse laughter from the guards. A knife lay forgotten on the floor, and I brought it with me, only to realize in the daylight why it felt so sticky. Ew, blood! And, oh yeah, so my guardian has seen me with this knife, and he's going to make some sort of decision. Rushing into action seems foolish. I have gained the patient trait. Uh, patient's not terrible in uh, vanilla CK. Um, plus one to a lot of stats, lots of defenses. It's very good. And I say vanilla because, again, I've been playing a lot of Crusader Kings 2 Plus, the, uh, the fan mod. And in there, they have made it so that most of the, uh, most of the traits um, have negatives. Instead of uh, just being a strict positive. Um, and it, I think it's pretty strong for balance. And let's get the guy who hates me to leave this battle. Again, hoping that maybe there's a chance that he'll, you know, kill himself or something. I think we want to cross from here, actually. Oh, did he just leave on a ship? That's fine. He's probably going to go siege me somewhere, but that's okay. Uh, there we go. Vassal levies raised too long. But we could probably take... Are you really going to, uh, to Galloway? All right, it's your funeral. All right, let's give you some sort of leader at least. So hopefully you can just crack that army more effectively. Good. Chase you here. And that's it. Now we just have to wait for things to go. I'm surprised. Do we not have any factions yet that have been a problem? Oh, there we go. Earl, male, Bridget for Ireland. They're not too big. I'm sick again? I'm just like a sickly freaking child. So annoying. Merge, merge. I guess you guys can go to Clydesdale as well. And this should be a very easy little war. There you go. I think we'll be able to create a new duchy at that point. No, no, we've, we're doing this based on ducal claims. That's true. Oh, then what we'll have is perfect control over this duchy and this duchy. And I'm still thinking that that move is the right move to make. We'll probably wait until we are we are no longer in the minority, once we've reached of age, and see how things go at that point. Walls are long and constant vigilance is impossible, and enterprising traders know that a city under siege is ripe for market for food. One such trader managed to succeed in smuggling through some food. Yeah, that's always a pain in the ass. Siege lengthens. Yeah, so doing this duchy, a lot of times I won't create duchies internally because it just means more titles to spread around. But it would give me a claim here, which would be extremely convenient. We're going to see how it goes. You know, if, if my lesser people want to create claims, then that would be fine too. Yeah, we'll definitely have to change some of these laws here. 
Any successful sieges? Peace offer. You are surrendering. Yes. Accept. All right. Clydesdale is ours. Um, the Duchy of the Isles. Yes, I know about that. And we can lower all of our troops. And that'll be fine. This is the retinue, which I will bring to my capital. And we will go ahead and finish building up the retinue completely. I'm going to put in a few mounted units, actually. So that's basically three kind of regiments of heavy infantry and a couple of things of cavalry, which will help a fair bit. Okay, so we've got too many holdings. We do have to distribute them again. Um, can I move my capital to gallery? Is it a good idea? I think the technology is lower. 14, 17, 15. 17, 19, 19. It's definitely lower tech, but I like these duchies more, and I think we're just going to give up on on our land here and just centralize our power, especially if we're going to push into England. I think it's the right way to go. So um, I, I'm going to do that. I know it, it probably sounds crazy to some people, but you know what can possibly go wrong? Or we'll keep Leinster possibly, but we'll give away... Um, because I think we've got some more land over there. Anyway, let's go into the character finder. We're going to just toggle it that way so it refreshes the view. Sort by opinion, because we want people with high opinion. No rulers. Good. Um, good, good. And actually, yeah, we want to elevate um, Irish people if we can. That's true. Yeah, so really, I want my religion and culture, but the people who like me is going to be the important part. So... What do we got? Again, I would like to hold on to all the counties where I am. Kildare, yeah. I think Kildare is going to be a good candidate to just give away completely. I know it's like it's a high value place. I realize that, but I got plans. And um range marriage. How old are you? Forty two. Well, what about the Queen Mother and, and Brittany? Oh, I didn't check to see if this guy was um, ambitious, but he must not be because he's very, very happy with things. I do have to give away a duchy. Oh, what about this lady? There we go. So that should make you like me even more. And then we'll refresh this view, refresh this view. Courture here because we have to give away one more. Oh, up here. Yeah, that'll that'll work just fine. I don't think there's any lower titles, but we'll say. Um, yeah, that sounds great. And our duchies is the problem. So what I want to do at this point is I want to change this to a ruler. I want to find rulers, sorted by how much they like me. Find a ruler who just has a single county and is content. That is very, very handy. I'm also the heir, so if he dies without someone... Actually, we might arrange marriage for him if that's not already happening. So we're going to give him... Oh, arrange marriage offer. Good. Excellent. And grant landed title. We will give you a duchy. And it doesn't have to be the duchy where he is. Although it's probably going to avoid certain problems if that is the case. Um, in Kildare over here, so... Yeah, I could... Uh, actually... We don't actually have a duchy involved over there. The Duchy of Connaught. That sounds like an excellent idea. We're going to give you that. So, this is going to keep him a little weak, right? Because he's a duke. First of all, he likes me, which is good. Uh, but even if he didn't, he only has one county to himself, so there's a very definite limit to what he can do to sort of screw with me. So, that is handy. Um, let's just toggle this around, sort this around like this. Apparently he likes me more than I like myself. So the Earl over here, we will also grant you a landed title. How come... This guy is under the Duke of Ulster? No. That's really annoying. Hang on, Duke of Ulster.
Where's the guy in Galloway? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, no worries. We'll, we'll sort it out later. Um, yeah, so I was going to give you something. Because you like me a fair amount. So yeah, I think the Duchy of Leinster. Or, who's an Ossery? Because there's someone over here, right? And he hates me. Because I'm a foreigner. He's Danish. No, it's fine. They can, they can sort it out by themselves. We do have to increase our crown authority, though. Um... There. Okay. So now we are down to two duchies. We are now moving to being Scottish, although we're going to be Irish Scottish. And that's, I, I think, is fine. It, it should go a long way towards improving some of our relations. So, what are we holding? Oh, she wants the Duchy of Galloway. What? But all you hold is one county. No. F you. There's just no way. Now, the other thing I should do, and I know it's quite boring, but it's a fun thing to do, is you go to these different, like, titles, and you see who would be willing to, um, who would be willing to join our court. I mean, there's plenty of ways to do it. We can go into the, like, the big character finder and sort people that way. Um, but I find it quite handy, just a little faster, to do claimants this way. Because then you can see right away if someone would join you. Although, I don't know. Let's go through here. We're going to search all. Um, mostly, we just want to find people who like me a fair amount. And are not rulers, because they're not going to come with us. And it doesn't have to be men exclusively, but it can sometimes be easier. Um... We actually want to find someone like outside of our entire group if we can. Yeah, most of these people are are already sort of in my general area or or whatever. What about the Holy Roman Empire? What can we do here? Well, there's claimants right at the very top. We're not going to be really in a position to push those claims though. Um, what about the Kingdom of France? There. Because the bigger your court, the better sort of higher skilled people you have available to you. And that's always nice. Oh, that's what I want to do. Castile. There's a prince. And another one. Invite you guys. Um, wait, Castile, Castile? What? The Duke of Castile. Oh, this is the. It's a duchy. It's a duchy of Castile that is independent, and then there's the Kingdom of Castile. What happened to Leon? Huh. More counties? No. I'll just do a few more of these. Barcelona? He's an emirate. They're unlikely to join me because of religious differences. More Castile over here. And Pisa is a little different. Okay, so that's increased our numbers just a little bit. Um, excellent. 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 Lost a bishop. Died a maim cripple. The Duke of Brittany, who already likes me a fair amount, and now he's going to like me even more, and that's that makes me really happy. Uh, we can... What was I using him for before? Oh, I was sucking up to someone somewhere. Right. I might have to start fabricating some claims. Because I think... Where do we have... Okay, so we can declare for the county of Dunbar if we want to go to war with England. We have the Jour claims there, so let's try to fabricate on Northumberland. We might even be able to fa fabricate a ducal claim 
Um, I don't remember how big of a of a skill we need to be able to pull that off, but that would be pretty handy if we could pull that off. Okay. So that's our retinues. Yes, go. We're fine. Limited crown authority in Scotland. Yes, I don't mind you raising the crown authority there because I'm going to want to do that at some point once I am the king of Scotland. We're quite far away from actually being able to form an empire, though, if I recall correctly, because... Yeah, Brittany. Peasant revolts. Double peasant revolts? What? What? Son of a... And the problem is, that's a lot of troops, and they're going to hunt down all my military as they pop up. So we'll have to be quick with the disbanding here. Meet up in Gowrie because there would be a river crossing. Oops. Okay, they're not moving, they're not moving, they're not moving. Right, we've got double simultaneous bullcrap from these guys. Actually, let's um let's meet up in Clydesdale. That'll work fine, because I don't think Clydesdale has a river crossing to... Where are they? To Strathen. Yeah, good, okay. So we'll be able to walk in there just fine. Well done, brigands. Buy us a little bit of time. We've got a ticking war score right now, because they don't actually control things, although that's not going to take them very long to do so. I don't actually need everyone. Um, but why not, right? Good enough. Let's go. So, you hunt them down in Fife, you come over here and break them in Moray. Where are you going, Ross? Oh! I didn't realize he would go directly there. I thought he was still swinging through Moray. Son of a... People are fighting petty wars within our kingdom, and I'd really like to raise our, uh, oh god, I'm gluttonous, our um, crown authority so that people could stop waging war independently and within themselves, because it means that some of these dukes are going to really consolidate their power, and I don't want that. Peace. I accept. Gives us a new prisoner, too. Oh yeah, you... You're actually starting to like me. Wait, I don't understand. Did I not ransom you? Did I ransom the wrong person? Whatever. Just release you. Half-sister. Half-sister who likes me, okay. And you over here... You're no one. You're not even a landed person. I can't do anything with you. Um... Right, because you're just peasant, that's why. Hey, perfect. 100%. Enforce demands. Yeah, so... Whatever, it's fine. Technically, you're a courtier who hates me. How much money do these guys have? I was going to say, they're peasants. They wouldn't have any money. Because later on I can banish if ever I get my piety positive, but it's not going to happen. Um, I just don't want these guys kicking around. I don't mind if they would die in prison, but it's just inconvenient to have them in list. So we will do that. We'll move you into friendly territory, and then we will um, just drop all this. Bring my retinues home. I would actually like to add... Oh, no, we're probably still in truce. Oh, this is a different queen, though. Uh, 
Um, let's go ahead and create a duchy. It's gonna cost me. It does cost me a lot of gold. No, hold on. I want to keep that money kicking around. All right, what else we got? Right, Ireland. Or sorry, England, which I don't think I really want to fight. Mm, and the HRE, which I also don't want to fight. So I think we're going to mostly look at internal things. Wait. King Quill I is not allowed to move the capital again in his lifetime, unless it's back to the traditional capital of Brittany. I haven't moved my, um, my stuff. That's really weird. Actually, here's a question. Why can't I usurp the title of Scotland? All right, Albany is traditionally in the kingdom. Oh, because it's too much money. Prince wants to become my steward. Neither one of them are landed. Sure. You know, I'm going to start researching Texan Gallery, because I'm, I'm still pretty sure that that's the right move overall. Um, let's, let's just go and do a whole lot of that. Oh, I think we still need to be downing revolt. Oh, gosh. Still a decent revolt risk over there. Sure, you hate me, but that's all right. Okay, I think there's going to be a, a period of sort of downtime here, especially as I wait to come of age. Um, we're mostly just trying to clean our house and make sure that we're okay. We are set to have a really long reign. Let's speed things up. We're definitely set to have a very, very long reign. Why well, show off when, when everything I have, I have been given? I'm humble. Well, there's pros and cons to that. Oh, right, again, I'm used to playing the CK2 Plus mod. Humble is just pure up good now. We'll get some more piety, which would not hurt. Oh, except apparently I'm proud instead of humble. Which means more prestige. And I guess that's fine, too. I do whatever I strike my fancy, such as smashing this fine glass goblet. No, uh, don't make me arbitrary. Come on! All right, he's a much better spy master. All right, we're going to piss off our mayor and go ahead and do the swap. It's fine. I think I've got a few more of these. Oh, just one more positive one. We'll make him the keeper of the swan. Good idea to keep our spy master particularly happy with us. I could give him a title next time I end up with a little bit extra. We're going to scheme in Leinster to catch offensive schemes. Right, can I... Oh, I probably can't anymore. No, I don't have a valid war over here. That's actually where I should be scheming with this guy. There. Or not scheming, but fabricating claims. I don't want to fight England, but fighting these guys would be fine. I have appointed a heretic. As one of my advisors. Who the hell's a heretic? Cathar. Son of a... Liam is much better anyway. And he's actually Catholic. Yeah, alright, let's... Um... I thought he was better. It's lower though. Oh, it's because he's not married. Let's get him married to someone with a uh, super high diplomacy score. How old is he? He's 38. 35-year-old courtier over here. She's gay, so they're not going to make any kids. Especially at that age. Uh, I guess I can use this one instead. She doesn't have a title or anything, so he's not going to leave. No, she's a courtier. Send. Ah, uh, the second Breton Fraticelli revolt. That is, that is definitely a big revolt. But we're not in a war this time around, so we should be in much, much better shape. Let's, um... 
Maybe some awkward river crossings. Yay. Oh, you're actually crossing that way. Why, why am I sending you there? Slow down. So many misclicks. Grr. We're definitely going to lose things over there. Cross and bolster as quickly as you can. Sean, our super guy. I mean, it's the losing. Actually, I guess I'm just gonna run. What the hell? You can let them start sieging or something. That's fine. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why can't I ever get away from these stupid, stupid, annoying people? Already in top condition. <sighs> At least we put a dent in them, and their morale will be suckage, so we should be able to defeat them. Hopefully, it also means we're going to be able to catch them. Indeed, it does. God damn. Alright, I'm really happy we're going to put down this rebellion this time. Hopefully, it'll reduce the overall revolt risk over here as well if we've broken them. I'm not sure that it does. The son was born, alright. It's getting close to the point where we need to get married. I was waiting till I was 16 so I could actually do a marriage. Um, hopefully. Although we'll probably still end up having to do a betrothal. Alright, I should probably disband my liege stuff. Although... Or my vassal levies, I mean. But it looks like we're, we're actually okay. And technically, right now, we're fighting a holy war. There's I just saw a post on Reddit about that. When you've got these rebels and you've got them beaten, don't accept the um, don't accept the peace request because it's actually going to give you a huge um, boost with anyone who thinks you're fighting infidels. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that because it's kind of gamey. I'm also not sure if it works with this particular type of infidels. Okay, we're finally getting back some piety, some more moral authority for the Catholic Church as well. I haven't actually looked at the religion, what the status of it is. It's not super duper high, but um, that works. All right. Let's, um, oh yeah, we're doing that. Let's pop you back over here at this point. And... Over that, park you back over here. We do have the tech rate. Yeah, we're getting back. Okay, should be doing okay. We are almost positive in terms of piety, which is nice. The Isle of Man is independent right now. Well, I would love to do that. I don't have an empire, though, so they would become independent Scotland. And that would be really annoying. Nope. He died in the dungeons before I could release him. Doesn't matter. There was no way to get a... Ransom off him anyway. Um, might almost be time to do this. We'll see. We'll wait till that little war runs out and then we'll deal with picking up the pieces. Okay, still mostly concerned with internal stuff, increasing our money. If we start to crack a thousand, then what I will do is I will start building improvements. I'm a little concerned about not being able to move my um, my capital though. I have no idea what's going on there. So, I think I can... Why am I... Oh, because I don't actually own the land over there. Directly, that's why I can't move my capital there. That's right. Um...
We'll give the mayor a chance. Hopefully it won't piss him off quite so much, but we're probably still going to have to swap him. Overall, what's the vassal status? Oh, some really hate me. Yeah, this is this lady who I was not supposed to release at any point whatsoever. Um, what's her heir? Some random steward. Really? Boom. She's my court gesture. Jester. Just because I'm a dick. Now, it's not going to change their chance of revolt. I mean, she's already, like, hating me to the max, right? Um, intrigue. Oh, that's what I should be doing, this stuff. I keep forgetting about it. Or can I not hold it? Yeah, it's just the time, but it's always surprising that there's nothing. Okay, I will run some of these feasts. A great holy war for Hungary. The high priest Atrak I has decided it's time to teach the Kaiser Franz of the Holy Roman Empire and the believers in the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All free Tengri men are invited to partake in the scourging of the kingdom of Hungary. What terrible news! That's amazing, actually, for me, because I would love it if the HRE could be broken up a little bit. In fact, if it weren't for so many internal issues at home, I would be sending some spies over here and trying to, like, assassinate key people somewhere. If we can keep uh, weakening the uh, empire itself, like the emperor itself, we might get uh, might get a little bit of a break. Make the, presence, the peasants a little happier. Mostly it's the feast that I need to do, though. It's the one I keep forgetting about. It's nice. In the CK2 Plus mod as well, you can uh, plan to hold a feast. That way you don't have to remember it. Um, if you click it in the right period, then it goes. Otherwise, it'll plan. You, you click it, and then when the actual season comes at the appropriate time, then it'll automatically trigger the feast event, which I think is awesome because I always forget to do it at the right time. I have to do this in November, right? Come on, autosave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I'll have to go on grand hunts once I come of age. All right, that was the weakest, wimpiest, suckiest summer fair I've ever seen. We didn't get a single event pop-up. What the hell? Wow. That was really depressing. Um, Scotland. Limited Crown Authority. Yes, I'm okay with that. You don't fabricate claims. Son of a bitch. Because they're going to keep trying to um, to blob up internally and become huge pains in the ass for me. October, one more month, we'll do the feast. I should have done it ages ago. Boom. All my vassals will be there. Well, hopefully. When I opened the door, I saw no one, but I stepped aside to close it. A group of acrobats cartwheeled, somersault, and tumbled in. They performed all sorts of tricks, and everyone watching exploded into applause when they finished. Uh, yeah, they'll be perfect for my feast. We'll spend the gold. A conjurer doing magic tricks? Yes, we're gonna go all out here. More entertainment. It's costing a lot of money, but hopefully we can get a very successful feast going off. Steward Prince Fruella has grave news. Part of the castle where the guests would be staying would have to be repaired or else couldn't guarantee the guest safety. It would be rather costly. Mm. Alright, it's fine. Damn, it's costing a lot more. And yes, we were definitely going to go for the lavish food for sure. It's actually not as expensive as some of those other expenses. All right, let's invite everyone and hope it works out. Douchebag. Douchebagette. Another douchebagette. All right, looks like only three have turned it down, though, which is not the end of the world. Typhus and Argyle. It's really unfortunate. It's not where we are, though. If the Typhus breaks out over here, then we're going to be in kind of a sketchy place. Uh, actually, we're in we're in Munster. Munster, Munster would be the the one that's over here somewhere. Um, oh, cool! Excellent. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna go for the claim. We're young enough; we should have lots of opportunity to uh, to press it at some point. Guests have arrived. All's ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Well, I spent enough money to do it. Steward Prince Fuella noticed Mayor Thomas has drunk too much wine, tried to dissuade him from drinking any more, when Mayor Thomas threw up on his shoes. It's unfortunate. Spoke up and told everyone how great the food at my feast was. Really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about my food. Given how hard I worked to ensure the food was the best part of the feast. Okay. Hopefully we can get a few more positives. Not much. 
we get uh, one year worth of plus five diplomacy, plus five general opinion, and that's really it? For all the money I spent? Come on! The Summer Fair was a bust too, which is really unfortunate. Actually, the bonus to diplomacy for a little while is going to be helpful. Um, it's not great, but we actually have a fair amount of vassals who do like us, so we'll hopefully be okay. How old am I? Am I 16 yet? Okay, not yet, but very soon, and that's probably where we'll put the next cut, is as soon as I come of age. Oh, that's Norway. Interesting. So we haven't gained much in the way of territory in 11 years, but we also didn't gain much in the way of, say, puberty. There, the regency has ended. We're no longer in the minority. King Quill of Brittany is legal age to become a thrifty clerk. It's only rank 2. It's not great stats by any means, but it's, um, it's nice. We actually went down in our domain size, I guess because we're not being, um, we don't have our, our regent anymore. But we can get married, and we can uh, get some ambitions and a few different things, so we're going to look at that in the next episode. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.